Hello, welcome to another vlog. I figured I would start this one out with a PR unboxing or just an unboxing because actually one thing in here is something that I purchased myself. But I have a bit of a pile up here because as you guys know, my in-laws were just in town and I just didn't have time to pick up stuff. So I have a whole bunch here. I'm gonna start with this little guy right here. Let's see what's in this guy. Ooh, oh my gosh, something from, can you guys see that? It's like black on black. Something from Makeup Forever. I think maybe this is the second PR package that I've gotten from them. And whoa, oh my God. They sent the sculpting palette, the HD Skin, is that the right term? Yeah, sculpting palette. You guys, I was eyeing this for the VIB sale and I really wanted to get it, but this is really something for uh, makeup artists. And so I didn't pick it up, but I'm so glad they sent it. Now I can play. Let me show you. Look how cool that is. So there's, these are all cream products. So you can use them as concealers, contours, bronzers. These are like highlights. They have some shimmer in there. Oh, I'm so excited. Thank you so, so much Makeup Forever. This is so cool. And there on the back, HD skin. And I think there's only one version of this. I don't know that there's um, different shades or anything. Next, we have something from Amora Vitsa. Very exciting. I think I got some PR from them last year, but I haven't gotten anything from them in a while. Not that I think they put out new products often. Ooh, Queen Oil. Ooh, look at that. Nice frosted bottle. I'm trying to find the ingredients here. Okay, Camelina Seed Oil and Evening Primrose Oil. Those are the first two oils. Raspberry seed oil, chia seed oil, prickly pear seed oil, sunflower, just a whole bunch. Here we go. Those are the ingredients. Um, I don't know if this is a new product, but I do like this queen line. They have a lot of nice stuff in there. Well, this is great. Thank you so much, Amoravitsa. Next, we have something from Ula Henriksen, the SPF Mineral Multitasker. New mineral, banana sunscreen, banana bright mineral sunscreen SPF 30. Oh wow, so 16.3% zinc oxide, clinical grade vitamin C, and banana powder inspired pigments, light reflecting mineral pigments. Here's the box. I'm so curious about this. This is a very interesting combo of stuff. Here's the tube. Safety seal off. I'm wondering if it smells like banana. Oh, it has like a, like a light tint to it. It smells like citrus, it doesn't smell like banana. Kind of nice finish, really smooth. Ooh, impressive. Thank you very much, Ola Henriksen. And we have something from Isom. So um, Isom was sold on Muse Beauty Pro uh, online and now I think they've broken off. Now I think their URL is isomcosmetics.com. I'll link everything down below if you're interested but they've come out with some new makeup and I'm really hoping that's what's in this box. Heavy, so they sent over, let's see, the Artistry Palette number one balance, number two intensity, and then the blush palette. Oh, <gasps> so exciting, okay. Okay, here is the number one balance palette. So there's a button on the side here that you press and then this whole thing slides open. <gasps> Isn't that cool? I wonder if you can, oh yeah, the whole thing slides off. Wow, look at these colors. So these are all mattes. Gorgeous. I'm definitely gonna be trying these palettes out in a trying new makeup video. And here is number two, Intensity eyeshadow palette. These are all shimmers. I get the feeling the top row are satin and then these are metallics. Oof, gorgeous. And then here is number nine, Accentuate Blush Palette. Oh, how cool. I think there's more to this, hold on. Okay, so you can actually slide this out of the back as well. And then these pop out. So all of this is refillable. And the same for the, yeah, the same for the eyeshadow palettes. Very, very smart design. Thank you, Isam. I'm so excited to try these. Next, we have something from True Botanicals. Ooh, it looks like they've come out with a new firming and lifting treatment. Oh, wow. 
Brooke Shields is a spokesperson for them. This product absolutely does what it says. It's like liquid gold in a bottle for your face. My skin instantly looked firmer and over time it looks more lifted and tightened. Ah, oh wow, lots of info here. You guys know how much I love the True Botanicals Serum, the Chabula Active Serum. I love it, so this is very, very exciting. Let's see what the bottle looks like here. Oh, it's got a little pump. Oh, awesome. Thank you so much, True Botanicals. Next up, we have something from Jones Road. Meet our four new neutral shades. Oh, they're the, oh, the lip tint. Oh, oh, if I just looked on the other side, that would have been super clear. <laughs> lip tint and then, oh, and Jones Road chewing gum. So here's the four. Let's see what colors these four new ones are. Ooh, look how pretty. Okay, so. This one over here is Just Pinky. This one is Mocha Rose Shimmer. Sorry, the lighting kind of sucks. And this one is Coco Rose. And this one is Nude Mauve. So these are the four new nude shades. This one looks very appealing. Ooh, pretty. Thank you, Jones Road. And this huge box, I'm not sure who it is from. It's very heavy. Bastide. Let's see. We welcome you to Bastide's range of natural skincare, exquisite fragrances, and luxurious candles, all lovingly and passionately made in Provence using French beauty techniques passed down through generations. We can't wait to hear what you think. Is that so much stuff? Oh, it's heavy. So much stuff over. That's so nice. Let's see. Candle discovery set. You guys know I'm salivating. Ooh, I'm not sure what the scents are. Oh, this one is Fig. This one is Au Coin de Feu. So I think this one is like, like a smoky one. This one is Amber Swat. So this label is actually on the wrong candle. <laughs> That's okay. They smell really nice. And then they sent over an EDT, Vervain de Sud. We'll have to sniff that later. Also got some Deep Repair Hand Cream. Very nice. An Amber Body Wash. This is, ooh, a refresher oil. Another amber. And then potpourri scented crystals. This I have to open because I don't know what that means. Attention. Oh, choking hazard. Harmful swallow, do not ingest. Oh, wow. Well, I can understand why they have that warning. These look like, these look like rock candy. <laughs> or is it just me? How cool, God. It smells incredible. I guess I should put them into something like a gold, gold, a glass vase or something. Thank you so much, Bastide. This is such a wonderful box. I can't wait to dig into this stuff. Thank you. And one last PR box, you guys. I have been waiting for this box for so long. I was hoping to get it before the VIB sale so that I could review it for you guys, but no matter, I have it now. I am going to review it for you guys as soon as I get this box open. But this is dun, 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 from Pat McGrath. Oh my gosh, so they sent over bronzers. I don't know how much of this they sent over, but as you all know, they came out with new bronzers, uh, a Divine Bronze Quad, and a new lip gloss and lip liner, or just new lip gloss? I think just a new lip gloss. Look at this tissue paper. I feel like Pat McGrath is the Versace of the beauty world. Gold bubble mailer. So they sent over three of the bronzers. They sent over Naked Desire, Desert Glow, and Nude Honey. Oh, that's so nice. Okay, and then here is the quad lipstick lip liner. So let me open up these bronzers. Let's do some quick swatches of these. And these boxes are cute. They like flip open like that. So the lightest one is Naked Desire. That's Naked Desire. Sorry, these are still the Jones Road. It's nice, it's very peachy. And then here is the next deeper one. This one is Nude Honey. There's Nude Honey. I like this tone. It's more neutral than this one. It has a little bit more red. That's pretty. And then this is the deepest one that they sent me, Desert Glow. This one looks very warm. Yeah, that one's really orangey. I think this one's gonna work for me. These two. 
This could be a really nice blush though. All right, so those are the three bronzers that they sent me. Let's check out the iQuad. Ooh, here is the iQuad. So pretty. So here are the swatches of the four. I think they actually have names. So this is Nude Solaris, Sunset Taupe, Velvet Eclipse, and this gold metallic one is Gilded Glamour. Those are so pretty, and then those are the three bronzers. Oof, I cannot wait to play with that. And then she sent over Matte Trance Lipstick in Nude Venus. Where's Nude Venus? Is this new? I don't think so. Let's do a swatch. There's Nude Venus, and then they sent over the Nude Venus Lip Liner. Oh, so I guess they didn't send over the lip gloss, which is the Divine Bronze Collection Nude Venus Lip Gloss. Lip Liner, it's like an exact match to that lipstick. Ah, how awesome. Thank you so, so much to Pat McGrath, and I'll definitely be doing a video on those products. And this last box is very special. It's an order that I placed, and it is my dear friend, Angie's brand new company, Singe Beauty. She's come out with five brushes, and I am so excited. Here's the packaging. I love the, all the bright colors. If you guys know Angelica's channel, you know she's all about the bright colors. <sighs> Look at these. I'll definitely be using them in a video to come. But these are like the perfect brushes. We've got three blenders, two flat shaders, Oh, I'm so excited. And look at these bright yellow handles. Not to be missed. Oh, big congratulations to Angie. These look incredible. I cannot wait. Good morning, guys. I'm just continuing this PR haul the next morning because I have two additional boxes here. Both are skincare. So let's open these up. And what we're going to do after we open up these boxes is I'm going to just do a trying new makeup right here in this vlog for you guys because I'm so excited for that Pat McGrath and for the Isom and the Jones Road tinted lip balms. Like there's so much good stuff. And I think I pretty much have like a full face in there, maybe except for foundation. Yeah, because I have the Makeup Forever palette for concealer and contour and highlight, all that stuff. So I'm so, I'm so excited. So we're gonna get to that, but let's just see, whoa. <laughs> let's see what we got from Kate McLeod. So I don't know if you are familiar with her line, but it is sold at uh, Sephora and they do um, focus on like skincare, body care. Like her whole thing is uh, like solid, solid moisturizers and stuff. And it's really, really cool. The formula of everything is really nice and great for travel because it's not a liquid. So I don't know if there's maybe something, oh yeah, I was gonna say, I don't know if there's something new, but uh, the card says, happy spring. We hope you enjoy celebrating the lovely new season with our two new beautifully floral body stone blends inspired by a garden in blue. Let's see. So that's what they look like. They almost look like, um, like bar soap, but uh, obviously very, very different because um, you just kind of like warm it up in your hands or like when you start, actually uh, rubbing the body stone onto your body. It just sort of starts to melt. And yeah, it's just, it's actually a really nice sort of like pampering kind of process because I felt like when I was rubbing the stone on my body, I was kind of giving myself a little bit of a massage too. It was just, yeah, it's a really cool process. Anyway, here's the box. How pretty we have here. Oh, here is one. So Blossom Stone. And this one is with Gardenia, Jasmine, and Vanilla. Let me just show you what these look like. So they all come uh, wrapped up in like a muslin cloth. This is what the stone looks like. So you just take this and you just start rubbing it on your body. Ooh, ooh, that's very nice. And then the second new one is Nectar Stone. So this is with Honeysuckle. Ooh, ooh, that's really nice. Kind of uh, fruity, but you can definitely smell the Honeysuckle too. Oh, these are lovely. Thank you so much, Kate McLeod. Oh, these are so cool. I cannot wait to travel with these. And then I have this big, glorious box from Tata Harper. Ooh, looks like they sent me a whole bunch of their Super Kind line, which is their line for like very sensitive skin, which is perfect for me. 
So they sent over their fortifying moisturizer, bio barrier serum, bio barrier eye cream, the refining cleanser, the softening cleanser, which I've used. I've used up a whole bottle of this. It's really, really nice. And a shield your skin with kindness of bio shield face oil and crystal sculpting spoon. I actually have this upstairs in my bathroom. I've been using this. I actually haven't used this yet. I have to figure out how to use that. Crystal Sculpting Spoon. Thank you so, so much, Tata Harper. Um, so that was all I had left in terms of PR. So let's go back to my filming area and sit down and just play with all of that new makeup. I'm so excited. So I think I'm gonna start with the Makeup Forever HD Skin Palette, no, excuse me, Face Sculpting Palette. And I don't have any foundation on or anything, but quite often, I just use concealer in lieu of like a full face of foundation. So I thought maybe I would try that today with this product because I feel like I would use these products as like a concealer. So I think this lightest shade, maybe I can mix it in with one of these shades, <laughs> one of these shades um, to kind of get like the perfect tone for me. But I'm going to start with just this lightest one and see if that works. So I've got my Isom T43 brush. That's probably a little light, yeah. So let me pick up a little bit of, I'm trying to get like a good sense of the tones here. This one looks a little bit more yellow, a little bit more peach. So maybe I'll try a little bit more peach here and just add that on top. I really should be mixing all this up before I apply it to my face, but we're just playing around here. Wow, that picked up a lot of product. Hold on. This is like super high coverage, but look at how nicely it's blending out. Okay. I'm going to try a bigger brush since I picked up so much product. I'm using my deluxe blender from Trish McAvoy. That's kind of nice. So a little bit of these two seem to work well for me. I think I need just a little bit more of this. I don't know if you guys can see. It looks a little, like a little chalky from this light color. So I'm gonna pick up a little bit more of the deeper shade and just put that on top. I'm just gonna do what I did before, um, but I am gonna pick up with the smaller brush. So I'm gonna pick up a little bit of the lighter shade and then a little bit of the deeper Shade. Just kind of put it right on top. I'm going to take this deluxe blender brush and really work it in. I think I need a little bit more of this lighter shade because this side looks a little bit brighter, doesn't it, than that side? Yeah, I think that looks better. Not bad. Okay. I'm going to take a smaller concealer brush. This is the BK Beauty A505 brush. And I'm going to try and cover these up. And I think I need maybe this shade here for that. Well, that's a pretty good match for my skin tone. This shade right here. Interesting. Yeah, the coverage is really high. It really kind of blanked out those sunspots. Let's um, try it over here. Some other ones popping up. So unsightly. <laughs> Put some around my nose, Let's see how that works. I really like the formula of this. And it just blends out so easily. There, I think I'm done. I guess I could put maybe a little on my eyelids. Let's try that. I'm gonna use, um, I guess the combo of what I used underneath my eyes, I'll use on my eyelids as well. So I'm gonna Pick up a little bit of the lighter shade and then a little bit of the deeper shade. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, I like this. All right, I think my skin looks pretty good. I'm going to continue using this palette and use it for contour. So I'm very curious about this shade up here that looks like the perfect contour, does it not? These look a little bit warmer. Like this is probably a really good bronze as is this one, but that looks great. So I'm gonna use this Refer 35 brush. Picks up fairly easily. And just pounce it.
That's a nice contour. Wow, it looks so much darker in the viewfinder, so I don't know if you guys are seeing that. <laughs> it doesn't look quite as extreme, at least here in my mirror. Yeah, that is a contour. Oh my god, I'm loving this little palette. I don't know if you guys can see, but it has a really nice reddish, cool, like, undertone. Really perfect. That's a nice contour. My goodness. All right, I think I'm done with this palette for now. I think I may come back and use maybe some of these cream highlights, but let's see. Let's see how the rest of my makeup goes. Um, so in terms of bronzer, let's try one of these new Pat McGrath bronzers. I'm so excited. So I swatched these for you when I um, unboxed them. So this Naked, Naked Desire? Naked Desire is the lightest one. And then we have Nude Honey, which is a little bit deeper, but it's also a little bit more neutral. So I think this one is for me. So I'm gonna focus this uh, where I would bronze instead of just contour, since we just used that Makeup Forever. So I'm gonna brush it over my forehead. And I've got a big bronzer brush here. brush it lightly. Wow. Mm -hmm. Definitely bronzes me up. Yeah, and I like the tone of this one. This one, actually much like the contour, has a little bit of red underneath, which I like. I think it looks pretty on my skin. I'm going to bring it down my nose, not my cheeks there, where I would get some sun. Oh wow, I like do suddenly look like uh, kind of sunburnt there, don't I? Yeah, I would say this is a great tone. Don't I look like I was just kind of out? <laughs> out in the sun? Yeah, I really like the tone for this one. So this one is Nude Honey. And then the one that I think that is too deep for me is, let's see, Desert Glow. Yeah, and then this one also actually has like a little bit of a golden sheen to it. But Nude Honey, the one I just used, is matte, as is Naked Desire, the one that's lighter. That one is matte too. But I really like the tone of this. I think you can see it on my nose the most. Like it just has like a really nice, like kissed by the sun kind of look. Ooh, nice, that is awesome. Okay, so excited. I'm just so happy that Pat McGrath came out with bronzers. <laughs> All right, and in terms of blush, I am so, so excited for these. When Isam announced they were coming out with like artistry makeup palettes, I was like, what? What, do you guys know? What a fan I am of Isom's um, brushes. So, so great. And it's a brand really geared towards makeup artists, so I knew they'd come out with some really good products. So I'm very excited for this. So here is number nine, Accentuate Blush Palette. So I'm gonna use the bronze palette for my eyes, the one from Pat McGrath, that quad. That's just kind of like a neutrally brown, so I think I can kind of go with whatever blush I want. And I think I'm gonna mix these two together just to get something kind of in between, maybe like a little bit of a peach. So actually, let's swatch that. So here are those two shades. So there are the five shades. So I'm gonna mix these two together. So I've got brush number 37 from Ruffer. I'm just gonna go kind of between these two. Pounce a little on my hand, and then I'm just gonna buff, because these are, these are bright. And for matte blush, these do not look dry or flat or too um, like powdery. That is gorgeous. Oh, I love it. And the pigmentation is perfect. It's not too much because it's blush. We don't want to get too crazy. But wow, that was so easy. And the and these powders are so silky to the touch. Incredible. And I mentioned this yesterday, but in case you missed it, these are refillable. So this whole thing slides out and you can refill the pans here. Isn't that cool? And then this slides right back on and clicks. Packaging is great. So, so great. And this is, let's see, made in Italy. All right, so that is the blush. And then in terms of highlight, I think the only new highlight I have is from the Makeup Forever palette. So let's just go back there. I think I'm just gonna use my fingers. I'm gonna go into 
this guy over here. It's a little bit more golden. Just tap it on. Ooh, just love a good cream highlight. Just has the best finish. Yes, wow, this palette is such a winner. And I know this is available at Sephora, so if you are a member, Rouge, VIB, Insider, whatever, this is another recommendation for you. All right, so in terms of eyeshadow, we have the Pat McGrath, um, what are we calling this? The Divine Bronze Lux Quad Venusian Sunrise. So that is this guy right here. I'm really, really anxious to try the Isom eyeshadows, but because the Sephora sale is going on, I wanted to try more things that are actually available on the sale, see if it's something that you'd be interested in. So we're gonna stick with this guy today. I'm gonna start with this shade up here. I've got my Refer 15 blender brush, nice big fluffy brush. Start on the outer corner here. Wow, that's blending out nicely. Awesome. And the color is staying true to what I see here. It's not warming up, which is really nice. You guys know I have an issue with that with a lot of eyeshadows. They tend to turn very uh, orangey. Then I'm gonna take this flat shader from Ruffer, it's a number two, and go into this shade here. Apply this all over the lid. Wow, that's pretty. And I'm gonna take this uh, BK Beauty A504 brush. I'm gonna go into this deep brown matte shade. And just kind of accentuate the outer corner there. Go back to that blender, blend that out. I'm also just gonna drag a little bit along my lower lash line. And I'm going to skip this really bright metallic shade here. It's just not the daytime look I'm going for. But these three shades, just like all of my other Pat McGrath shadows, blend beautifully, nice pigmentation. Yeah, no surprises there. So that's really, really nice. I'm just gonna curl my lashes. Use my Wayne Goss. Uh, waterproof mascara. Oh, you guys, I'm such a schmuck. I meant to use Angie's new brushes for my eyes and I just, I just kept going with whatever brushes I had sitting in front of me. Damn it, okay. <laughs> Next time, Angie, we're gonna be using these brushes probably when I use the new Isom eyeshadow palettes. We'll definitely do that. Moving on. So we have these uh, new tinted lip tints from Jones Road. It's kind of like a, a nude story that she did. And I swatched these for you yesterday too. So I think the one I'm gonna go with is Rose Mocha? No, I'm sorry, Coco, <laughs> Coco Rose. Wow, where did I get Rose Mocha? I think that's the name of another one. All right, let's try this one. There's Rose Mocha. A little bit more dramatic than what I was going for, but I do think this goes really nicely with that quad. And then the other one I really liked was this Nude Mauve. Let's try that one. I think I'll take this off and try this one. Hang on. Okay, here is Nude Mauve. Ah, ooh, that's really pretty. This formula is really nice. Very moisturizing. Ooh, I love this color. What a successful trying new makeup. I really love everything that I tried on today. So in terms of the Sephora sale, what's available and what I would recommend, this um, palette from Makeup Forever, the Pat McGrath Quad, I love, I love the way my eyes turned out. The bronzer, I love how bronzed up my skin looks. And I think everything else that I tried is not available at Sephora, right? Just these three things, which I really, really enjoy. I Love this little guy. This, I feel like, is probably gonna end up in my favorites, but this is awesome. So I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. I was just gonna go about my day and uh, continue vlogging. However, I really wanna get this up since the Sephora sale is still going on, and I do recommend those products if you guys were interested in my thoughts on them. So yeah, I'm gonna end the vlog here. So this is probably a little bit of a short one, but thank you guys so much for tuning in as usual. Links to everything that I've used and talked about will be down below in my description box, and I will see you in my next vlog. Bye.